Hello, today I'll be showing you on how to generate contour from Google Earth. Firstly, you have to launch your Google Earth. Then you select the area where you want to generate contour, you move to the region of the place where you want to generate contour. I want to generate my contour from this place. So I want to generate my contour from here. I want to generate my contour from this region here. So what I'll do is that I'll click on this, I'll click on this add polygon, then after clicking on it, you move this a bit to the other side, then on the screen here, you will see this, this square pin here, then you select the places you want to generate it from, so I want to select four different places to generate the contour from. Then after you select, you rename it, let me give it A, B, C, and then you click OK. Then it has been, it's now on your place. So you right click on it and click on save place as. Then after you click on save place as, save as type, if you, for save as type, you can you will leave it at in this format km kmz because global mapper can recognize this format then you select the location where you want to save it so i want to save mine in the, my desktop now so click on desktop then i'll click on save now after saving it i'll come to now after saving it i will come to my desktop now you can see it's now on my desktop i have it on my desktop so i'll open my global mapper and then i will choose the folder that i just saved i'll open it on my global mapper desktop apc and i'll click open so you can see it has been opened on global mapper then after opening you come to file you click on file and then you come to download online imagery you make sure that you have you are with your internet that your system is connected to your internet then you click on it Then it will show this pop up and then you click on connect so after that you come to analyze you come to after that you come to analysis and then you click on you after coming to analysis you click on generate contour from terrain grid so from here you can select the what you want you can select the number of your minor contours and your major contours you can change your contour interval 
then you make sure all these boxes is is marked you make sure these boxes are marked then you click ok now you can see you can see my contour now on the screen then after that you come back to your file and then you click on export you come to export and then you click on export vector slash like that format you can either export as dxf or you can export as dwg because autocad can both recognize those formats then you click ok and then you click ok again and then you click ok from here we have include display labels as separate test layers then from after you click after you click on you, you click here then you click ok and then you give it a name and select where you want it where you want it let me save it as xyz on my desktop so it has been saved to the desktop let me check okay it's loading so it's not saved now i have it on my xyz so i will open my autocad now and then I'll click on open and select my desktop because it was even on desktop then I'll select the file and click open then I'll click on continue opening drawing file the WG file it's loading After it after that you click on this zoom extent. Now you can see now you have it on your screen now with the color as well. In order for you to remove, you can see the you can see the contour interval on, on it as well. So you can you, you can remove this color. If you want to remove the arches, you click on it and then you come to click on remove you can see so you can remove the the colors so let's properties now the colors has been removed now this is my concentration this control interval for this place. I need to control for this box. Yeah. So that is it. That is how to generate control from Google Heads. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also turn on your notification bell for more updates and more videos. Thank you.